All right, everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. This week, I've been spending a lot of time with Nitsan working on his cross court forehand, trying to get more angle on that shot, get his opponent off the court. And it's kind of sent us down the path of hitting a buggy whip or reverse forehand, as you may call it. Now, when we think about this technique, we automatically think of Nadal because he's the guy that uses this more than anyone. And it happens for him because He's coming so steep up the back of the ball to create so much spin that that's simply where his swing path takes him. Now, obviously, most of us aren't going to swing like Nadal, but you may want to try adopting this technique into your game to help you to control the ball when it's out of your strike zone or to do as Nitsan's doing here, which is to try and create more angle. So I think the issue on your forehand is that you sometimes like pull, pull your arm instead of rotating out this way. But you've been doing it better. When you're hitting this ball cross court, the ideal thing to, is to get behind the shot, to feel like you can rotate your body and then to have this, this follow through happen, happening. Making sure you're not pulling it to get it cross court, but you're going out and rotating to go cross court. But if you're a little bit late, this helps you to create that angle. So this, this like buggy whip thing is actually great to get on the outside of it. It's also essential if the ball is low because if you're hitting a ball off a, off a, a, a low ball here, you're essentially gonna be coming around the ball this way, right? You're not gonna get your top spin this way, you're gonna come around it, and then the natural finish would be to come here. So low balls, this is a great finish. Being a little bit late, and getting around it, which is often not just being late because the ball came fast and you were late, but you might be running this way and you have to create that angle. Coming this way is useful, but just when you get behind the shot, still, you know, preferably swing around your body, but make sure this elbow is coming out and the shoulders rolling and you're not trying to pull it this way to get it cross court. Make sense? But I do think for you, it's kind of useful to just feel like you're moving your arm this way because your elbow has always been so low that I think this is actually quite useful for you. In the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be filming a lot of stuff with Nitsan. So just let me know if there's something that you want us to focus on. Maybe there's a shot you want us to demonstrate and, uh, and talk about. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit like, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you soon.